Hi there, my name is Ian Tao, and I'm part of the team behind Insulin Collaboration. I'm here to tell you about a roadmap for 2021 in 10 slides. Feel free to pause at any time. Let's get started. We launched version 1.0 at the end of last year with a focus to help teams repeatably you know, and consistently recover from incidents by following a you know, process that they prescribe to. We learn a lot about the similarities and differences between various types of incidents, but then also workflows that are not technically considered incidents. That's why this year we're expanding kind of our narrative to prescribe workflows that are critical to the team. We learned that different teams often have playbooks for their most important workflows that are not you know, fully automated nor fully manual. Um, they want to predictably deliver an outcome uh, each time by giving themselves like kind of a starting point, but then also enable flexibility to adapt to the situation. So DevSecOps examples are, you know, the attackers and service outage, but this also applies to when account executive hands over customers to customer engineer and customer success teams to help them, you know, deploy and go live. As well as launching products, it's not just code being merged, but it's actually you know marketing cloud needs to be in place, messaging is correct, uh, documentation, UX design, and so on. These playbooks tend to be executed over and over, with kind of the expectation of being tweaked and improving over iterations. You may already be familiar with the checklist features uh, that came out with 1.0. It helps people understand what they're responsible for, what's been done, what's to do next. And this year we're adding the triggers and actions to help complement that process. So these are things like uh, when someone joins a channel, automatically send them a welcome message and uh, categorize the channel. When you know if they finish running the playbook, automatically archive channel and announce it and so on. We're also introducing a dedicated experience to help people focus on what are the things they need to take action on in order to unblock kind of the process that are in progress across the organization. And also uh, show them the most recent updates that they need to know of from kind of the runs that they're following as a stakeholder. And if you drill into one of these runs, we want to enable stakeholders to get the information they need at a glance without having to parse through all the conversations that are happening in the channel. And once the team has delivered the desired outcome, they can now perform retrospective right within Mattermost. They can retrace their steps of what happened by reviewing the timeline that captured every event change as part of the playbook run and use that to uh, create a summary report which can be templated in order to standardize the expected format in their organization. They can also collect the perspectives from every participant by sending out a survey and uh, keep track of follow-up tasks for after the run is over. These retrospective features not only help participants save time putting it together, but can also be viewed, referenced, or exported uh, for stakeholders. And if you take a step back from individual runs, you will be able to get the bigger picture and kind of see the trends in how the teams are performing and improving over time. This is also where we plan to introduce custom performance metrics in the future so that teams can really customize the playbooks to help them improve the business process and outcomes. That was a very quick visual overview of how we will help teams prescribe their critical workflows ahead of time so that when the situation arises, they can very quickly run that playbook, you know, combine the people-driven checklist of tasks with automated triggers and actions, um, you know, keep their stakeholders in the loop and informed throughout the process, and then afterwards, perform retrospective, extract learnings, and apply those to their playbook for next time. This is a list of the features that we plan to ship as part of 2.0 this year. They're color-coded based on their current status. So green is shipped, yellow means they're currently being worked on, and blue is planned. I hope this was insightful and gives you some inspirations on how your team may find it useful to create and run playbooks. Thank you so much for listening.